Step one, unload parts from the crate. The crate is very heavy, so it is best to unload parts one by one. Remove the lid from the crate and begin laying out the parts. Sorting parts in numeric order will make it easier to find parts when assembling. The first piece you're going to want to put together are the side rail frame. Uh, you're going to have part number one, you're going to have part number two, and you're going to have part number three. You're going to want to look at the, the stickers. The stickers are always the top of the trailer and towards the front of the trailer on each part. Uh, so we'll go ahead and the easiest way to do this is tilt these guys over, put them together, and lay this guy inside. And then you're going to want to put just the bolts in the top for now. Next, you're going to want to take part number four, which is the front of the trailer, and you're going to insert the sides into the side rails. Again, just insert the top bolts for now. After you have installed the front of the trailer, you want to move your way back. So this was part number four, and then you're going to have two fives, five and five. Again, just put the bolts hand tight on the top. Don't worry about the bottom holes yet. And then on the next one, you're going to go back, and this is going to be part number six. It's going to be different than part five and you have to go to the side and this would have been a bolt that you had already put in there you just have to take it back out and put it back in and then tighten it up just hand tight again so after that's done you're going to have cross member up front it's going to be four and then five five six six and then we're going to install the back rear bumper and this is a two-part piece so you want to install the accessories on the front of this thing before we install it onto the trailer. Next we'll go to the middle support for the gate. These ones feel free to tighten them all the way up. Next we can install the front cover of the back bumper. So this is going to protect your lights from stones. So what you're going to do is just take it and then slide it in. Just like so. And then you hand tighten the top as well again. So once you have the main frame put together, you should have all the top holes are all have bolts in them all the way around
which is all hand tight, and then we will tighten them up later once the trailer is all square. Next, we're going to install the hitch, which requires us to lift the main frame off the ground so that we can slide the hitch underneath. What we're using is jack stands. Um, as long as you have a, a good block, you could also use some wood. Just make sure that it's secure so it can't fall off. 